Uh, here we are in the Swing Street at Peebles Golf Club and as you can see it's, like, it's absolutely miserable. It's been a continuous factor the last couple of months. So today what I'm going to talk about is three tips to hit longer drives. So this is on behalf of any any members here at the golf club or predominantly senior golfers, okay? So obviously I've not really done that many videos in 2018, so I'm going to start up again. Just been busy with course work and work and where I've been or I've been too busy building snowmen and going sledging. So the first tip I'm going to talk about is launch angle with the driver, okay? So a lot of golfers want you so, right, so to maximise distance what you need to do is hit up on the golf ball, okay? So too many golfers move the ball position. So too many golfers can move back here. Too many golfers move the ball position too far back in their stance and that's where they hit down on the golf ball. So they almost play the driver as if they're hitting an iron and that's where they hit down and then the ball pops up. When you do this you make you increase back spin, you increase side spin and you lose distance. So if you're hitting the ball into the wind, don't necessarily move the ball. You don't want to move the ball position back, sorry, if I'm being honest, because if you move the ball position back, the angle of attack becomes steeper. What happens is if you're playing into a wind, people think, oh, it's going to go lower. But generally, the people that move the ball position back, they don't change the loft to accommodate for moving the ball position back. Okay, So if they move the ball position back, you have to reduce the loft to try and get the ball on the same flight as the angle of attack. Or in the same, or in tandem with the angle of attack. Okay? So, Stop, stop moving the ball position back, move the ball position almost off your front foot or your le inside left heel, okay, so inside lead heel. What that'll do is encourage an up, up, upward strike, okay. So a lot of people, if I come close to the camera, a lot of people that hit down the golf ball almost make contact at the bottom, okay. And when you hit up on it, you make um, contact at the upper quadrant part, okay. So what happens is if you hit it in the middle of the club face, you get, I think you get specifically, it was like 3,500 RPM, okay, so that's not that bad, that's quite good, that's a low spin rate, okay, but the moment that you hit an inch below that, okay, so if you if the ball depresses off the golf club, but just an inch below, you get you get about 4,700 and, say, let's say you round up to 4,700 RPM, okay, because that's increased spin, and the ball just takes off, okay, so the ball balloons up in the air. But if you make contact at this top quadrant of the golf club, so that's where that's where there's the most loft on the golf club, and there's more more bulge and roll. Okay, so that generally, as the ball comes off the face, there's reduced spin. Okay, so you get about 2,000, 2,300 uh, RPM off or spin rate off the top of the, the top quadrant of the driver. So it's important that we incorporate that within our game. Okay, so we want to hit up on the golf ball, create a shallow angle attack. Okay. So, in order to do that, if we move the ball position forward, that gets our spine angle slightly behind the golf ball. That's just a natural reaction, okay? And for example, people who hit down the golf ball, what happens is this, this right shoulder gets low too early, okay? And what happens is they almost spin out, okay? And for example, if I want to hit up on the golf ball, okay? I want to keep this left shoulder ahead of the right shoulder, okay? So if I go like that and swing across the golf ball, my right shoulder gets in front of my left shoulder. It's, it's, that's quite complicated, I won't go into too much detail there. So, pulling hit up on the golf ball to just try and maximise maximise uh, launch and reduce spin, okay? So, second thing we'll talk about is try and play a draw, okay? So, a lot of golfers who, who try and fade the golf ball, or a lot of golfers who try and slice the golf ball, so they'll slice it, okay? They're more inclined to swing left, okay? So the more you swing left, the more the ball's obviously going to curve to the right, because golf's game opposites, okay? So we need to turn our back, so we need to put that, that fade in our back pocket, okay? So for us to eliminate the fade, we need to swing in the direction that the ball finishes, okay? So the ball finishes right, we want to swing to the right, okay? So in order for us to do that, what we need to do is set, set our body up right of target, okay? But we want to set up slightly right of target with a club face in between our, obviously, ball to target line and where our feet are aiming, okay? So, if I, let's say I aim my feet four degrees to the right, my club face has to be two degrees left of that, okay? So it has to be in between, so halfway in between ball to, so halfway in between where I'm aiming and the ball to target line, okay? So, if I'm getting into a position doing that, when I hit the draw, okay, you generally get, you generally get a, a lower flight and the ball runs a lot more, but generally what happens is if you're hitting a draw, you're able to turn your shoulders a bit better, okay? You're able to create a wider arc. But for example, if people fade the golf ball, 
there, the curve's quite steep, and I drop it back down. You don't have a full rotation in the shoulders, okay? Or that's just my personal opinion, but you don't have a full rotation in the shoulders, and then you chop down on the golf ball to get a sweaty shot out to the right, okay? So I want you just to try and feel like that you're turning your body a bit better and hit and draw, okay? So feel like the club, the club head is behind the hands, okay? So feel the club head's behind hands, and then as we're coming back through like Sergio Garcia style. So the hand, his club head is lowering his hand path. That's why he shallows the club path so, so good, okay? So if I come and try and hit this. First shot in a while. Third tip I want to talk about is just relaxing, okay? So too many golfers tense up trying to hit the ball. Ma ma mahusa distances, okay? Is that even a word? Yeah, mahusa distances. And what happens is the minute that they the minute they hold the club tight, what happens is your arms get shorter, your arms are almost compressed into your body, okay? And what happens from there is your muscles get tight and your body your body is what happens is your your body rotation is inhibit, inhibited, okay? So from here what you need to do is just relax, so just relax, if you relax, your body's able to rotate fully, so if you relax, your body's able to rotate fully, and what happens is, it's just a natural reaction, okay, because, for example, Tiger Woods last night, if you watched the golf, how they were um, analysing his swing, and what happens is Tiger Woods takes the club back too quickly, but what happens is anything, anything that your arms do, your body has to respond to, okay, so if I swing too fast, my body has to so slide to two L on the downswing to try and obviously catch up the arms, and that's where he's at the sink, okay? So your body and your your arm swing and your lower body should generally be working in tandem with each other, and or they should be coordinated, okay? So at the same speed, like in sequence, okay? So what what we need to do is if we relax, full body rotation, and what happens is if we allow, what happens is if if people speed up their upper body, what happens is their lower body kind of stalls and then as they get back their arms kind of outrace their lower body and that's where they're going to get generally a lot of hooks, okay? So what we need to do in order to do that, but if we relax, okay, our hips are able to obviously rotate or, or coil against their upper body and that's where we can maximise distance, okay? So if we relax, allow our body to turn out of the way, then obviously we're, our body's turning left but our feels are going out to the right, okay? So we need to feel that if we turn our lower body, that throws the arms out to the right, and then that's where we can hit that desired draw or get our get get a sense of freedom with the hands, okay? So obviously it's important to just try and relax when you're on the or over the shot and just don't let any any thoughts plague your mind and hit allow that to obviously hit the next shot. So three things to think about. Obviously, what we need to focus on is trying, trying to work on that. So, obviously, we talked about just the one there, um, relaxing. The second one was kind of um, hitting up on the golf ball, and the third one was playing a draw. I've done that in reverse order, but it doesn't matter. So, if you've got any thoughts now, hit this last one. So, I'll put into practice what I've just talked about. So, ball position forward, trying to feel like my upper body stays. So, what happens is. If we create a good spine angle and address, we want to we increase we want to increase our the bend in our spine, okay? So if we good position and get back by doing that, but we don't want to get off the ball, we won't go too much detail like that, okay? So off the left foot, relax and you know, a whoosh and hit and draw. So I feel like I'm rotating my shoulders. bit too much, that was a bit too far left. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, let me know and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and any topics you want me to discuss, comment below and subscribe to my channel, Jamie Thank you.